to the brown and hail to the gold. Hail to New Brush High, the school we uphold. We love no other, so let our motto be Victory Brush High School. Good evening, students, family, friends, administrators, and staff. Tonight, I'm speaking to you via satellite as we celebrate and rejoice the accomplishments of the graduating class of 2020. Before I begin, I want you to look around your room at the people who are supporting you tonight. Okay, now make sure they're six feet apart. Now I want you to look around at them once more. I want you to ask yourselves, why are we here? How did we get here? Why are we not all together at a formal hall with loved ones surrounding us? You know, I am a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. I believe this current crisis that has adversely affected the nation, as well as this graduating class, is an example of what it means to be a member of our generation. Because you know what? We are special, always have been, and always will be. I believe we were chosen for this, because we are strong, and despite difficult circumstances, we will prevail. We did not deserve this, as it may feel as everything we worked for over the years was taken away from us. But do not allow the current circumstances to overshadow the accomplishment we are here to celebrate. Do not allow the situation to deny you the right to your own achievements. Do not let your sorrow overtake the fact that tonight we celebrate our victory, our moment, our rite of passage as graduates of Charles F. Brush High School. This is not just about our group accomplishment. It is about our individual persistence as well. Throughout our journey together, I am sure I can speak for all of us when I say this, there were moments when we were discouraged and afraid of overcoming new obstacles. But rather than they be defined by these challenges, we faced them. And by doing so, we grew stronger, and that strength is what give us the power to leave here today and take on the world. The Greek philosopher Aristotle once said, educating the mind without educating their heart is no education at all. This quote relates to all of us as we must continue to learn, learn to live, learn to laugh, and learn to love one another. Most importantly, never take anything or anyone for granted because it can all be taken away in a heartbeat. Pandemic or not, we have each other, and that in itself should give us hope. You guys truly mean the world to me. I wouldn't treat any one of you, not for a commencement at the palace, not for a win on the football field, not for anything in this world, because we have shared this journey together for better and for worse. Our futures hold promise, each and every one of us. We ain't come this far just to come this far. Think about that. Why stop now? Remember why we are here in the first place. Every day you awake, awake with the hope that you have the power to be the change you want to see, even if it's just changing your corner of the world. You know, sometimes it's the lack of faith in yourself that can hold you back from truly reaching your full potential. The best day of my life was the day I began to believe in myself. And when I learned to believe in myself, I also believed in all of you. I believe that you, me, all of us were capable of, were honestly capable of anything. And I always knew you all had my back and I had yours. Finally, I would like to thank our staff and administrators. A lot of you have helped me get through tough times, and that truly means the world to me, because I would not be here without you. Though it often seemed to me that teachers did not want to succeed, and at times it was as nothing was enough for them, they was doing too much, <coughs> English teachers. I now see that they were concerned with more than just grades or standardized tests. They were concerned for us. Maybe the desire to educate us was to spare us, spare us from a life of ignorance and prevent us from facing defeat in a competitive and demanding world, or maybe they were just trying to push us to ask more for ourselves, knowing we would only be together for this brief time. And for that, I am truly thankful. Cheers to new beginnings, class of 2020. I wish you all a bright future. I hope you find a life that gives you peace, and most importantly, a life filled with love. Good evening. I want to tell you guys a story about a little girl and her three older brothers. One hot, sunny day, they decided to go to the park and play baseball. So they ran to the garage and gathered up all their gear. Once they found everything they needed, they headed to the baseball field. While walking to the park, her brothers were taking turns swinging the bat. Now this little girl, she had never swung a bat before and she was eager to try. She asked her brothers if she could have a chance. Being the youngest, of course, she had to beg. They finally gave her the bat, and when she got a hold of that bat, she swung it as if her life depended on it, as she was not going to be outdone by her older brothers. Now I'm sure some of you might know where this is heading. In all her excitement, she didn't notice that her brother had bent down to tie his shoe in front of her. So when she swung this bat with all of her might, she smacked him right in the head. In an instant, he collapsed to the ground in pain, 
The momentary excitement the little girl felt now turned to panic. In shock, she watched as her other brothers helped him up, only to find the knot the size of a golf ball forming. The weight what of what just happened grew heavier on the girl's heart as they made their way home with their injured sibling in tow. She knew, inevitably, they would have to tell their father. Upon opening the door to the house, their dad rushed over. There was no hiding the injury. What happened, he asked, in a voice that was a mixture of alarm and confusion. The children were honest as their father commenced to triage his child. The boy was given an ice pack to limit the swelling that protruded from his head. It was a relief to the little girl that her brother would be fine. With the frenzy that ensued upon their return home, she thought she had escaped punishment. Indeed, in the end, she was wrong and would have plenty of time in her room to learn lessons from this childhood mishap. This story is about my brothers and I. My brother turned out to be okay after icing his wound. In fact, he went to the park to play the next day. But the reason I tell you this story is because from this simple story comes several lessons. First, sometimes life is gonna smack you in the head. Lesson two, it may come about when you least expect it. Lesson three, you may know the party's responsible and it may very well happen in the middle of a sunny day. But there are other reasons here as well. When life smacks you in the head, will you own your share of the responsibility for the events in your life? I mean, honestly, people, he bent over to tie his shoe in front of an eight-year-old girl swinging a bat. And finally, when life smacks you in the head, will you ice your wounds, brush yourself off, and quickly get back in the game as my brother did? Or will you succumb to the pain and let the experience stop you from moving forward? Fellow students, family members, friends, teachers, and administrators, as you watch or participate in a virtual graduation ceremony, I want you to think about the class of 2020. Tonight we are showing you how this class reacts when life smacks them in the head. Sure, this isn't what we imagined it to be. We've seen graduation ceremonies. This isn't what they look like. We took a little time, iced our wounds, and we are all here tonight showing that when life smacks us in the head, we get back up and get back in the game. Good evening, students, staff, administrators, friends, and families. You know, I've always gotten the impression that high school is like a free trial, a free trial to life. Because once you turn 18, once you graduate, all of life's real hardships begin. College, followed by soul-crushing debt. A new career? Taxes. Ooh, marriage, and perhaps for many, divorce papers. You now have to be so responsible and suffer the consequences of it all. As they say, you know them, am I right? Those people, they say high school years are going to be the best years of your life. They say, wait till you get into the real world. Well. I need a sock they, because buddy, real life starts the moment you're born. Everyone has their struggles. Struggles aren't age locked. Look at us, a group of students. We came to this world a year after the 9-11 attacks on America. We don't know a world where TSA doesn't pat you down at the airport. And trust me, they pat me down. We have never lived in a world that doesn't have an Office of Homeland Security. And now, here we are today, graduating in the middle of a pandemic. Hooray! We get it! The world is tough, and it can be a dark place. But we've got two options, sink or swim. Give it your all, or just give up. So who's going to sit in the dark and hope for the best? There's sharks in these waters. There is life after high school, but what kind of life can you expect to live? Well, let me slide in a quote real quick. This quote is by the American novelist Anne Lamott. Hope begins in the dark. The stubborn hope that if you just show up and try to do the right thing, the dawn will come. You wait and watch and work. You don't give up. 
Who said the life of a high schooler is easy? Oh yeah, they did. They don't think we understand. Look, we are inexperienced in this world. Yet the world keeps compelling us to seek something higher, even though it's layered with uncertainty. I always knew the darkness was there, but I saw the light. It's hope that keeps us going. We have to believe not only that things can get better, we must believe that we are deserving of better. I ask you all to value yourselves, please. Make the decision to stop limiting your potential and keep moving forward. Do not be defeated by yourself. Push your doubts aside, and if you survived high school, my money's on you that you're not only gonna survive out there, you're gonna thrive. So, I would say good night and good luck, but we know it's not about luck. Myself and my fellow classmates, we know better than rely on luck. As you can see by your viewing experience of this speech. We're gonna stick to hard work, tenacity, and perseverance, and most of all, that unruly emotion we call hope. Thank you! Good evening. There are many individuals who have participated in the success of the class of 2020. At this time, I'd like to ask the administrators at Brush High School and the school counselor team to be recognized for their work in making these events a reality for our students. Brush administrators, Mr. Joe Comperta, Dr. Lorraine Fuller, Mr. Ron Johnson, Mr. Curtis Jackson, our College and Career Coordinator, Mr. Edmund Hall, our District Resource Coordinator, Mr. Chet Mason, our School Counselors, Ms. Christy Myers, Ms. Sarah Ball, Mr. Jesse Blazier, and Mrs. Bridget Johnson, and our Supervisor of Attendance, Mrs. Brenda Wilson. Each year, the commencement exercise program is the culminating event of each school year. I would like to recognize the work of the following staff members, Mrs. Sanford, Mrs. Jameson, and Mrs. Campana. These ladies, with the support of many others, have participated in the coordination of this evening's program. I would also like to thank Mr. Charbel Zacharia and Mr. Ryan Morton for the development of this virtual commencement program. Thank you for all that you have done to making this evening one to remember. The journey for the class of 2020 started long ago with the beginning of kindergarten. Along your journey throughout school, it is safe to say this school year was not how anyone would imagine your final year of high school would end. As a class, you have plenty to be proud of. Individually, your experiences at Brush coupled with this school year have prepared you to take on whatever stages come after you leave Brush High School. The class of 2020 is special in so many ways. This group of soon-to-be graduates are spirited, enthusiastic, and more importantly, prepared. As a class, you have left your mark on Brush High School, the South Euclid Lyndhurst School District, as well as the communities of South Euclid and Lyndhurst. Among us this evening, we are celebrating the following. 13 students will receive diplomas with honors. Eight students have been recognized with the Presidential Award of Excellence. 13 students earned a grade point average of a 4.0 or better. 47 students have earned honor roll with a grade point of a 3.5 or better. And 38 students earned merit roll with a grade point average of a 3.0 to a 3.49. Cumulatively, the class of 2020 has earned over $2,334,250 in scholarships known as of today. That number is growing. The class of 20 has completed over 17,199 hours of community service. This means that on average, each member of the entire class has completed approximately 69 hours of community service. That's impressive. We have two students among us who are enlisted to join the military forces. Individual highlights of members of the class of 20 include the following. Manda Sek, who will attend the prep school for the United States Air Force Academy for 10 months then will become a member of the United States Air Force Academy. Sloan Bakupsa, a member of the Junior Wall of Fame, will attend Vassar College and has earned over $50,000 in scholarships to attend. Throughout her high school experiences, Sloan has volunteered for over 400 community service hours. Amber C., 
a fellow member of the Junior Wall of Fame, will attend Case Western Reserve University on a full pay tuition scholarship. Amber has volunteered 141 community service hours during her time here at Brush. Haley Hocker will attend the University of Dayton where she has earned $158,000 in scholarship. Amani Henderson plans to attend Kent State University where she has received half of her tuition paid in full. Cassidy Thomas, a third member of the Junior Wall of Fame, will attend Notre Dame College where she has earned a total of $94,000 to attend. Cassidy herself has volunteered 115 community service hours during her high school experience here at Brush. She was also named Most Outstanding Senior for orchestra her senior year. Naomi Summer Arscarera will attend John Carroll University where she has earned the MAGI scholarship and was accepted into the honors program. She has earned approximately $124,000 in scholarships. Naomi is also recognized for her participation in the Learning Artworks Apprenticeship Program where her group won $1,000 to develop a clothing line designed to promote youth voting. Brian Tuohy plans to attend Ithaca College in New York where he has received a scholarship and plans to study performing arts. John Hughley IV will be attending the University of Pittsburgh where he will attend on a full tuition paid athletic scholarship to play basketball in the prestigious Atlantic Coast Conference. William Lucas, who was honored with XL Tech Departmental Senior Award for Welding Technologies. Haley Jones, who was recognized as a Hillcrest Rotary Award winner for XL Tech Programming in Infant and Toddler Education, Health and Safety Nutrition. And Cameron Carswell, who was recognized as Hillcrest Award winner for XL Tech Programming in Environmental Education. Jordan Harris, who was recognized as XL Tech Outstanding Senior in Cosmetology. Finally, each year, the prestigious Morell Scholarship from The Ohio State University is awarded to approximately 40 students throughout the entire state of Ohio. Recipients of this elite scholarship, which is known as the university's most prominent diversity merit program, covers full in-state paid tuition. Congratulations to our Devin Settles, Raven McQueen, Shalia Williams, and Nia Terrell. I would also like to highlight Nia for her recent runner-up finish in the recent Stop the Hate essay writing contest where she earned a $15,000 scholarship as well. Members of the class of 2020, strive to do your best each and every day. Be better today than you were yesterday. Be greater tomorrow than you were today. Our society today needs you to be nice to one another, appreciate those around you, and to be the beacons of light that you are and will be the graduating arcs of Charles F. Brush High School. Superintendent Dr. Reed and the members of the South Euclid Lynnhurst Schools Board of Education, I hereby certify that the following members of the class of 2020 have successfully completed all the requirements by the State Board of Education and the South Euclid Lynnhurst Schools Board of Education. The class of 2020 is now presented to you, Superintendent Dr. Reed, for graduation. Good evening. Mr. Williamson, on behalf of the South Euclid Lynnhurst Board of Education, I proudly accept the 2020 graduating class of Charles F. Brush High School. I want to welcome everyone in the South Euclid Lynnhurst School community to this first ever virtual commencement ceremony for Charles F. Brush High School. While no one could have predicted that any of us would confront such an unprecedented set of circumstances, I thank the members of the Board of Education for their continued support the staff of Charles F. Brush High School who worked diligently to prepare this ceremony, the families of this district, and particularly the members of the class of 2020 for their patience and flexibility as we finalized our plans. And most importantly, I express my sincere gratitude to the graduating seniors of the class of 2020. Over the last 10 weeks or so, the graduating seniors have demonstrated an uncanny resilience to overcome the reality dealt to them during this coronavirus pandemic. Without question, you have been called upon to accept the alteration and in some cases complete cancellation of many events, activities, and honorary recognitions that are typically associated with your senior year. 
Unfair as it was, you, the graduating seniors in the class of 2020, dealt with each nuance of this pandemic with tremendous strength. You have shown a continued desire for success, determination to move forward, true grit, hard work, and a happiness that despite the circumstances around you, proves nothing will rob you of the glory and the honor of this commencement moment. Yet I encourage all of you to look at these past few weeks as an opportunity, however, an opportunity for you to have moved out of your own personal comfort zones and one requiring you to have met and developed the emotion and feeling of courage. This can and should be viewed as a very positive thing as it will be one you will need for the rest of your life. Trusting your courage over comfort compels you to pick up the anchor of your lives and move into uncharted waters, unknowing what awaits on the other side of the pass. As you look back on your lives, the, the risk associated with choosing courage over comfort has been with you all along. When you've stepped forward to join a co-curricular group, take the lead part in a play, ask the significant other on a date or applied for college, trusting your courage over comfort has accompanied you every time you took a stand for what you felt was right and every time you resisted the status quo. As we look back on this coronavirus season of our lives, and especially how it impacted the few final months of your senior year, I will choose to remember you as a class that had bravery and not fear, confidence and not timidity, and one that chose courage over comfort. And because of this, I have no doubt that some members of the, of the class of 2020 who have endured all the past few months will go on to college and one day become our future doctors or nurses to help serve others in need. Go into the laboratory and invent the cure for such infectious disease, or go into the workforce and be on the front lines of public health and safety. The South Eagle Lindhurst Schools will forever remember the class of 2020 for your patience, your hard work, determination, and your willingness to pursue courage over comfort. And our world will be a better place because of you. Thank you. To the class of 2020 graduates, I bring you congratulatory greetings as your school board president. On behalf of the South Euclid Lindhurst Board of Education, we honor each of you today for reaching this milestone. As I address you today, albeit virtually due to the nation's circumstances, I greet you from this room that is lacking your vibrant smiles and your anxious hurry up we are totally over this faces, and minus the chatter and the noise that you typically grace the halls of Charles F. Brush High School with on a daily basis. I want to say to you, each of you are innovative, contemporary, ingenious, inventive, cutting edge, and deviceful. These are great adjectives to describe something or somebody of significance for a particular reason. The something is today, your graduation. Welcome to the finalization of your K through 12 education. You did it, you started, you persevered, and you completed the journey. Kudos to your family, friends, and the support system that aligned themselves with you as you traveled the path. The somebody is you. You are all six of those adjectives. I would be remiss if I pretended that your senior year was not drastically ripped from your hands, starting on the day that you awoke and opened your eyes on March 17, 2020. If it could safely be replaced into the palm of your hands, you would have it back 100%. One thing that I do know is that you all are indeed innovative, contemporary, ingenious, inventive, cutting edge, and deviceful, and most importantly, you were all those things before this pandemic. This pandemic did not make you stronger. You walked into this pandemic strong and possessing the experiences and qualities that allowed you to be present here today. And for that, we commend you. We commend you for running the race and staying the course, even though the course took you on a journey that none of us could have ever imagined. In the words of prominent anchor woman Robin Roberts, you never know which experiences of life are going to be of value. So you've got to leave yourself open to the hitting opportunities. Seniors, we say to you today, there is no limit to your ambitions and aspirations. So go forth 
and unwrap all of those hidden opportunities. Congratulations again. It has been truly an honor to serve you and your families. We love you, bless you, and most importantly, be safe. Ishma Abdul Rashid. Bashir Abdur Razak. Riley Adams. Raven Ranisha Adamson. Antoine Duran Anderson. Nicholas Anderson. Evelyn Simone Anthony. V. Atkins Jr. Xavier Hatterberry. Teron Anthony Austin. Ayana Sky Austin Howell. Josiah Baker. Michael Baker Chandler. Hakeem Barrett. Shania Lanise Bell. Kayla Tierra Benson. Taquan Binion. McKenna Fishko. Kyra Elise Boyner. Gavin Michael Lee Booker. Sloan Delbar Bukubza. Donnell Lamont Britton Jr. Kayla Monet Brown. Brooklyn Bryant. Martez Bryant. Ayana Buckner. Monet Cheyenne Inez Burston. Kiera DeAsia Butler. Yoel Butler. Sean Butler, Jr. Isabella Marie Caldero. Charnika Nicole Calloway. Cameron Carswell. Takari Cartledge. Sui Chen. Taylor Brianna Clark. Destiny Monet Coleman. Joseph Corselli. Janelle Cox. Kaylin Alexa Cross. Tyreek Crump. Daniel Joseph Sulco. Jamie Ariana Davis. London Harrison Davis. Marissa Del Vega. Alexander Lennon Devon. Dylan Desenzi. Jalen Doctor. Devante Duro. DeCarlo Drake. 
Andre Isaiah Duncan. Christopher Farley. Rhea Sunshine Fitch. Heliberta Flores. Corey Jermaine Floyd, Jr. Megan Foliet. Rebecca Haley Foreman. Dominic Fornitti. Omarion Lanez Forte. James Pasquale Fortunato. Tasia Helen Foster. Skylar Franklin. Mario Freeman Jr. Naviel Patrice Gales. Tyler Nicole George. Ernest Germany III. Joshua Christian Gibson. Rakia Naje Giles. Shayla Monet Glenn. Eric Malik Goodrum Jr. Lacey Genesis Graham. Julia Leanne Grant. Nair Iona Marie Grant. Dane Gray. Dradon Eugene Gray. Michael Gray. Alan Green. Alana Green. Arto Green the third. Nina Green. Malik Theo Gully. Forrest Haas. Denzel Arjuna Hakeem. Christian Terrell Hale. Devon Hansen. Ariel Roche Harris. Derwin Harris, Jr. Ifaniah Harris. Jordan Harris. Jordan Nevea Harris. Octavian Alexander Harris. Alexis Hatcher. Amani Henderson. Malik Henderson. Arian Amor Higdon. Holly Foray Hawker. Raquan Lavelle Hollis. Jamari Holmes. Jordan Renee Houston. Michaela Cherie Howell. John Ike Hughley IV. 
Maya Junae Hunt. Malaysia Cherie Hunter. Nicholas Yakabuchi. Ayana Jackson. Cheyenne Marie Jackson. Jonathan Jackson. Azaria James. Luke Jansen. Christopher Joffreon. Chanel Monet Johnson. Dalea Johnson. Keyshawn Johnson. Xavier Marcus Johnson. Bryce Jones. Siani Jones. Haley Sinclair Jones. James Dale Jones. Darvell Rayshawn Jordan Jr. Taylor Denise Jordan. Binda Caffley. Angela Marie Calafatis. Brianna Lee Kalen. Kennedy Kemp. Benjamin Kenzel. Hannah Kenzel. Kenneth Charles Kilgore III. Nicholas Lamont. Kiesia Monet Lanier. Joshua Leibowitz. Deshante Teja Lee. Sabina Lean. Vincent Lester Jr. Araya Destiny Lewis. Dejanay Patrice Lewis. Terrell Lemire Liddell Jr. Amara Rose Lippman. Daniel Robert Lloyd. Aaliyah Denise Locke. Jose Mario Lopez Perez. William Edward Lucas II. Dejanay Lundy. Ashley Jane Lynch. Monty Alonzo Madden. Joshua Nathaniel Mason. Mason Cordell McCombs. Kyra McMillan. Heaven Elizabeth McNair. Raven Noel McQueen. Shayla Neely. Roy Isai Melgar Espinoza. Kalia Michelle Mia. Anthony Miller. Jayla Montgomery. Janiah Shanae Moore. Hageson Morgan. Tayshawn 
Eric Devon Murphy. Jeevil Nader. Joshua Nash. Ariana Ogden Clark. William Orsagas. Joy Palmer. Jared Robert Perkins. Shyland Pollard. Robert Pollard the third. Ariel Poole. Shamia Pratt. Spencer Presley. Lawrence Marquise Ramsey. Helena Yaya Reeves. Bonasia Sumaj Lachey Revere. Jaquan Malik Anthony Richards. Christian Roberts. Darren Ralston. Joseph Rose. Robin Jessica Rosenthal. Jalen Ross. Anastasia Lene Russell. Briari Russell. Rocco Salad. Naomi Samara Sakura. Tatiana Amaya Sams. Ajene Lachey Sanders. Lashawn David Satterwhite. Sydney Paige Schlegel. Jasmine Scott. Kyrus Scott. Zaya Lene Scott. Antoinette La James Moraine Sears. Manda Sek. Owen Lewis Seddon. Amber Marie C. Victoria Grace Semler. Jamil Shakur Jr. Punam Sherpa. Caleb Shields. Jackson Shorter. Brianna Simmons. Hannah Simpson. Darian Smith. Natalia Monet Smith. Tristan Michael Smith. Ramon Starling. Renesia Stone. Jontez Strozier. Darnisha Sullivan. Devin Spencer Suttles.
Catherine Michelle Zaitis. Nia Amani Terrell. Talista Trana Terry. Cassidy Faye Thomas. Courtney Thomas. Dominic Thomas. Janae Kiera Thomas. Shania Moran Thomas. Devin Thompson. Haley Elena Marie Thompson. Kyle James Thompson. Monica Toma. Ryan Townsend. Jamari Collier Trailer. Trevor Tucker. Brian Tuhi. Santasia Turner. Noah Turoff. Jaden Christopher Tyler. Cameron Walker. Jalen Walton. Jade Warner. Billy Watkins, Jr. Deja Watson. Joy Angelica Lee Watts. Amaya Weaver. Christopher Weeks. Kalel Lee Wells. McKenna Chantel Wells. Shyla Iman White. Brandon Whitson. Alyssa Wigand. Krishan Donovan Williams. Diana Aliyah Williams. Aaron Williams. Michaela Williams. Maximus Williams. Shalia Renee Williams. Michaela Jasmine Williford. Marshala Nicole Christine Wilson. Ronald Wilson the fourth. Gavin Wolski. Shayla Denise Lynn Wright. Courtney Yarbrough Jr. Michael Ray Young the third. At this time, I'd like to recognize the class of 2020 valedictorian Joseph Rose, along with the salutatorian Monica Toma. Joseph is graduating with a 4.99 grade point average and will earn a bachelor's degree in science of biology this summer. Monica is graduating with a 4.69 grade point average. Please join me in congratulating Joseph and Monica. Good luck and best wishes to you as well as the rest of the class of 2020. 